Hey, are you over 40 and are you trying to get your fitness back? Then what questions do you have? You're over 40, you're trying to get your fitness back. Maybe there's something that's on your mind. And this is one of the questions that we've had this week. Dom, I'm 45, I have a busy career and I've got two active kids. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight and I'm trying to keep it off. I need to increase my energy. I need to get over those constant aches and pains. What is the best approach for us to take? Well, the best approach for us really is three things and prioritizing only three because that handful is easy enough. First of all, I want you to prioritize your daily protein intake. Next, I want you to focus on your training and getting stronger. And what I mean by that is I'm in resistance training, not necessarily just exercise. And number three, I want you to focus on getting better sleep because this is where the recovery takes place. So sit down, grab a pen, keep watching and let me explain. First of all, prioritizing your daily protein. Well, there's a misconception out there that weight loss is all about you just eat in a calorie deficit. In other words, you eat less energy than you give out. Sure enough, there's a bit of truth to that, but especially if you're not doing anything else but just restricting up food. Yep, that means that you're giving something up. Instead, what I'd like to do is I get clients to start with just one thing, and that's to eat an appropriate amount of protein for them to achieve their goal. Not what I'm doing, but their goal. So what's important about prioritizing protein? Well, protein has what we call a higher thermogenic effect. In a nutshell, that means we basically will burn more calories as we digest protein than we do with carbohydrates and fat. And this in turn contributes to a higher metabolic rate over time. In other words, your metabolism gets a little bit stoked and has got to work a little bit harder. Secondly, protein is highly satiating, which means that it will help you feel fuller for longer. And therefore, when you hit your protein targets in the day, you reduce the likelihood that you're going to overeat. Thirdly, protein is essential for building and maintaining muscle mass. And as we get older, this one's important, not only for us and our bodies, but for a good, healthy metabolism. Protein, therefore, needs to be prioritized. You must ensure that you're getting enough of this crucial macronutrient. Eating protein first in your meals is the go-to. You're more likely, therefore, to hit your protein targets throughout the day. You'll get satisfied faster with the meal, which means you won't snack a little bit further. And obviously, that leads to you overall reducing the amount of calories that you might consume from those otherwise highly palatable and highly processed foods. Protein often comes with its own source of fat. Now, fat and protein together are considered what we call essential macronutrients, which we need for optimal health. And protein itself doesn't mean that you're going to exclude your other food groups, but it simply means that you're making that the priority. You're going to eat it first. Number two, we work on our clients. We say, get strong first. Now, Dom, what do you mean, get strong? Well, if you're looking to lose weight, getting stronger first is a smart strategy because when you focus on getting stronger, you set yourself up for a long-term success, not 28 days, and let me tell you why. Building strength improves exercise technique. It improves your stability. And these are crucial for us as we get older to help us prevent injuries. And also, when we continue on with our other workouts, we get more bang for our buck. In other words, we maximize the output. Number two, strength training helps you build muscle. And the more muscle, as we've said before, means a faster metabolism. This basically means that you'll burn more calories throughout the day, even when you're at rest and you're sitting there at your desk. By getting stronger, you likely feeding yourself properly and therefore providing your body with the nutrients it needs to support the muscle growth and the fast loss. Yes, there's a mental game to this too. 
as I'm getting stronger, I know I need to eat well in order to keep moving forward. And as the young ones say, chase the gains. Strength training has a positive effect on your hormone profile, both for guys and girls. It optimizes the growth of the hormones, particularly it balances out the likes of estrogen and progesterone, and it can even optimize testosterone levels in a women folk. From there, we then focus on strength rather than just the weight loss because it helps shift your mindset towards valuing your performance, not only in the gym and at work and at play and with the family and kids, and you'll feel stronger in your body. But Dom, what about cardio? Does it have a place? Well, strength training for me and to you is better than cardio for fat loss because it does a few things. Number one, as we've said before, it builds muscle. Muscle which you also need to maintain and preserve a lot more of, particularly as we get older. The phrase, slip, trip, and break a hip, I use quite a lot. Secondly, it boosts metabolism. Hmm, new muscle is metabolically more demanding as a result of the strength training, and so needs more fuel from those stores. Righto, we're getting there. And more muscle means that you burn more calories at rest. But hey, don't worry, you're not going to get jacked. That's another topic of conversation. The third thing we said we were covering three is about getting good quality sleep. Now, first, let's get over this mentality, particularly those of us that are in this LinkedIn crowd and, you know, the consultants, the busy parents, the sales guy, whatever that you're going to sleep when you're dead. Of course you will, because you're dead. You're going to sleep for a damn long time. Now, sleep is crucial for fat loss because it directly impacts our hormone profile, as we said before, and therefore also the other behaviors that relate to us eating properly and getting physical activity. When we don't get enough sleep, our body perceives it as a stress. It triggers the release of cortisol. That's the stress hormone. Now, cortisol, as it turns out, is the hormone that will help promote fat storage, not necessarily a good thing. This stress response also increases our appetite and therefore cravings for that high calorie, palatable, processed nonsense that is sitting for us at eye level in the grocery store. Now, lack of sleep can also lead to muscle loss because if we're not doing it, the body will go, hey, dude, I need to conserve some energy. Let me jettison some of that muscle because I need this energy to just simply help you get through. We call basal metabolic rate. Basically, that's the energy that we need to just keep ourselves alive. Now, even if your food consumption or the macros, as we've called them before, is on point, if you don't get enough sleep, that can hinder your fat loss and therefore adjust your metabolic rate and affect your body composition. Prioritizing your sleep is essential for optimizing the hormones and achieving your fat loss goals. Now, good quality sleep, what's adequate? Seven to nine hours is the go-to, as they say. But it's not just getting the hours of sleep, i.e. not the time in the bed, but the actual sleep but it's also the quality that counts too. And there's a series of things that we can also do to help improve our sleep. More on that later. Now, who am I? Hey, look, I'm Dom McStraw. I am a strength, performance, and nutrition coach, and I'm fan of a program that I simply called Live Longer Stronger. Live Longer Stronger is about a no BS approach to moving our body away from being over fat and under-muscled to becoming athletic and strong. Yes, I don't think we have a challenge of business really being sedentary because there are a lot of us that are sitting at the desk and not doing much during the day. And if you look at the stats, we're probably still pretty sedentary, even though we might be on our feet for the day. The program itself is to basically help you unlock your physical potential for you, not me, not the guy around the corner, not the Instagram influencer, but you. As a result of that, with our strength training and these other initiatives, we'll help you shed the body fat. Finally, we will let you let that go. And the whole idea is we want you to learn to embrace living a longer and stronger life. 
Now, we keep the program simple. And to help our clients unleash it, we do what we call return over the big rocks. Okay, so for some clients, their pursuit has been a weight loss challenge. For others, it's about regaining back control over their food habits. And then we then move on to some people like myself personally, where mine was a result of a health scare in my early 40s to change my lifestyle, become more athletic and strong, and therefore live a much more active life with me and my kids in my late 50s. Now, if any of this has been any help to you, then there's a few things that I would like you to do. Number one, just give us some love. Like this. It's easy. Thumbs up. Click the heart. Whatever it is. Number two, save this. Maybe you want to come back to it. You might want to watch it, read it again. Hey, what was he talking about? Protein. Why should I do that? Save the post. Tag it. And also, too, hey, maybe someone else out there that you know might benefit from hearing this stuff, too. It's simple, it's not rock and science, and you're not going to have to worry about me running around taking selfies in the bathroom to say how good I am. Share it with a friend. Live Longer Stronger might be a program that for you. So here's a few people. From Jay, who's an executive recruiter. As an individual short on time, it was just what I needed. In the program, I wasn't asked to do anything that the coach, i.e. me, Dom, had not done himself, and I found that inspiring. Thanks for the dedication and for getting me back into shape. And that was Jay. Sarah, who became a new mum, I just had my first baby and was hesitant to get started back. To my surprise, Dom got me back into shape quickly. I didn't think I'd be able to run or skip again. Obviously, the challenge is obviously having a baby. Now I'm almost back to my pre-baby fitness and weight after training with him for a few months. And as you can see, she said they're a few months, not 28 days. Mark's a software developer, one of these guys that sits down behind the desk quite a fair bit. After trying every type of class in the gyms in the city where he worked, I didn't think this was going to work, he said. Too simple. I dropped 12 kilos. I got back some muscle. And then I got another eight plus kilos that came off me. And more importantly, I had a performance goal. And that was to simply run a marathon. Progress forward, Mark has now run five. Now, before you think that these results, they're really not that impressive, it's just comments on a page, let's share this. This is Gabe. For his entire adult life, he's always been a big boy. He tried the fads, the gimmicks, just like we've all done, haven't we all? Mid-2021, he weighed in, age 44, at 146 kilos. No, that is not a typo. The change? Well, you're going to see his smiling face. And for the first time, he has popped under 100 kilos. Now, progress to date. Photos are incoming. Don't worry. He has dropped over 55 kilos. That CPAC machine, for those of you who know what that is, that's to help you breathe at night if you're suffering from sleep apnea. That's now in retirement, as are all the other medications that he was on. And less and more favorable lifestyle choices, they are gone. He's run his first 10K nonstop already. And he's now completed his first half marathon. Gabe, I'm super proud of you. Congratulations. Now, here's the story. There's Gabe on the left. There's him on the right throughout the journey. As you can see, slowly shifting through. Bottom left-hand corner. Look at that freaking smile on the guy in the middle. Now, full disclosure, Gabe is my younger brother. But... Then there's me. I'm the original guinea pig of this program. So what's my story? I was, I was a management consultant, a business owner, a parent, whatever the identity that I've had, I was immersing myself deep in that hole. Becoming a parent was my trigger for making the real changes. And as you're going to see in my early years, 40s, I had that transient isochemic attack, many strokes, brain farts, if you will. I was weighing in at 115 kilos. I had medications for reflux, severe facial rosacea, yada, yada, yada. And throughout the transformation, my MMA debut came in at 46. Again, we're talking four years, but down to 84 kilos. So most importantly, I got a chance to see my kids grow up and become the dad that no longer sits on the sidelines. This all happened back in 42 when the kids were younger. They are now, as of this date of this recording, one is 17 and one is 21. 
Now, these are some old photographs, but you'll see that's me with my firstborn. You can see the rosacea, even though these are in black and white, you can see what it looks like. There's my son in the second top right-hand corner. You can see a little bit pudgy, a little bit soft, hairlines receding a little bit more. And throughout the process, yes, I went down the process here. Performance was my goal. I lost a bit. I think that's the only pic I've got of myself on my underwear. <laughs> Don't need to see much more than that. But that's me there sitting there looking serious. And in the middle, more importantly, that's the kids as they got a bit older. I think for memory, one was maybe 10, my son in the bottom, and my daughter was 14. So if you would like to find out if what we do can actually help you too, then there's a few things. Yeah, comment below. Maybe just tag me on this post. Say, Dom, hey, I'd like to chat. If that's the case, let's start a chat. Message me. If you know, if you're seeing this on Facebook, then use Messenger. If it's on LinkedIn, then comment. Either way, there's more than one way to skin a cat and to find me. Option two, let's, hey, hook up. Let's find out. Send me a friend request. Add me to your profile. And let's see if what we do is something that can help you too. My name is Dom McStraw. This is Live Longer Stronger.